on there. Kershev Complex. This is pretty interesting news considering what's happening. So, this is Kershev Complex. Nigo and Nike deal signed. Collaboration coming. So, my GOAT, my North Star, as Brendan Schub will say, right, about North Star. This is my North Star. This is my guy. Has been my guy for a very, very, very long time. Nigo, um, the founder of Bape. And some would say, along with flipping Hiroshi Fujiwara, the godfather of streetwear like legitimately goated you don't need to add more context or information to it if you don't know do your googles do your youtube searches find out but this is the guy right this is the guy the guy the guy definitely my north star and definitely somebody that i've kind of looked up to from flipping day dot with everything that he's done creatively over the flipping years so the funny thing about this is that nike have recently opened a flipping case against bape they are suing bape for the bape star because um you know as previous years most of you guys would know the the original bapester was kind of modeled on the nike air force one and then over over the spell of time of years and stuff nike would threaten to sue and then what they would end up doing is changing the overall kind of you know design of the shoe to make it a bit different than what the flipping um, nike air force one was so they want to get sued over time but then i feel like recently in recent years they've kind of gone back to that quintessential air force one silhouette and just have the star on the side of it so clearly um, nike aren't happy about this in the slightest and decided to sue them so in the midst of them being sued the former this you know head of flipping bape and founder of it who unfortunately had to flip and let go of the brand because he just spent way too much money making it a flipping legendary cult you know brand has now gone into do his own brand human made and is now kind of running things over at kenzo so to have this happening at the same time is quite hilarious and somewhat poetic so this is obviously nigo there in an amazing vintage levi's jacket that's probably worth hundreds of thousands of pounds um it says here yeah, japanese designer nigo the streetwear titan who founded bape and human made is currently serves as artistic director for french um fashion house kenzo is working on a collaboration with nike um sneaker industry sources tell complex the deal between nigo and nike marks a shift um for the designers footwear alliances nigo's brands have worked exclusively with adidas over the past 20 years exactly so um we know him to do that and i think the good thing about nigo which is interesting i think a few of these guys like hiroshi they have the ability to sometimes jump around from brands they're not really because for the most part if you do collaborations with nike you kind of have to decide who you're with you're either a nike guy and adidas guy they don't usually like to you to jump around so the fact that this is happening maybe speaks to the shifting culture where maybe these big sportswear brands are seeing there's no value in having these exclusive deals actually one thing kind of benefits the other so even if he does go eventually back to adidas it will eventually still impact and help the sales of nike anyway in general because they kind of all operate within the, sort, the same sort of sphere um that's my thinking that's how i would approach it but i'm sure these guys think differently it continues here it says um nike did not respond for comment about the relationship with nigo the director at otsumo the parent company for the designer founded in 2016 that sits on top of the current brands did not respond for a comment either nigo and nike are still in the early stages of working together on a sneaker according to one source and one collaborative product won't be released until 2024 at the earliest the japanese designer has never worked directly with nike on a product before but the brand's leadership team um, met him on trips in tokyo in early 2020 per one sneaker veteran who has um, in Nigo's orbit then um, Nigo is best known for sneakers for the Bape Star his Nike Air Force 1 inspired Bape model that enticed sneaker collectors in the early 2000s aside from his inline footwear Bape started um, to collaborate with Adidas on sneakers at the Superstar beginning in 2003 Nigo sold Bape in 2011 and stepped down from the company in 2013 but his connection to Adidas is endured the designer released a collection with Adidas in 2014 a source tells Complex that Adidas and Nigo are not extended their contract. Adidas did not provide a comment on whether they're ongoing partnership with Nigo, but the deal between Nigo and Nike likely precludes any of the labels from partnering with competing companies. So his Adidas deal was up, Nike knew, and they swooped him for the kill. Or this is just a temporary thing, and he could always go back. And you have to remember too, this is a Nigo and Nike deal. It doesn't sound like a Nigo and Human Made deal or a you know Nike and flipping. Um, Kenzo deal so there is a possibility of splitting it because I know that's what a lot of these guys are doing it's quite smart like Matthew Williams from Alix has got his own MMW thing that he does with Nike so he can basically do you know other bits and bobs with Alix with add other brands and not have that kind of you know not have the flipping um, not have any sort of conflict with the branding and shit so that's pretty decent so I'm eager to see what's happening 
it's going to be a new silhouette i'm assuming there's no point of getting nigo involved and just letting him redesign or add a colorway to an air force one because we already have a babester although that would be pretty hard if he came in and did like his own interpretation of what he'd like to see colorway wise in Babesters on Air Force One because that's one thing about Babesters that worked really well um the colorways are so awesome like you could never get those bright crazy outlandish colorways on Air Force Ones ever that's why everybody basically swooped up for the Babesters because it was a familiar silhouette but he also had the added incentive or the added kind of sprinkling that they were limited and the colors are sick so if he does an Air Force One that would be quite cool but I would appreciate I would prefer if they signed up the Titan, the flipping, you know, street wa the streetwear flipping OG or Godfather, it would be much better, much more impactful if he was able to kind of build and make his own model from scratch, as opposed to just go in there and kind of, you know, do the old flipping stuff where you just, you know, add a colorway to the existing shoe. So let's see what happens going forward. But I would hope, fingers crossed, in my regard, that he is able to kind of do his own thing fingers crossed that he is able to do his own thing one can only hope one can only 